In this video, I want to show you how to set up an order, cancels order, uh, so you can manually manage this position in Night Trader. Night Trader hit its profit target last night. I changed the profit target from 700 to 2000 only for demonstration purposes of this video. We're not changing the strategy. I just wanted to make sure that the strategy still showed a open position for demonstration purposes of this strategy. So, um, what if you have Night Trader and you have automation on, but you don't want to, you, you maybe you're having troubles with your internet and you want to manually manage a strategy that has a stop loss and profit target. So, one of the things you can do, you turn off automation, disable strategy automation, you have a real world position, Night Trader, which typically has a $1,500 stop loss and $700 profit target. Um, you can place an order, cancels order. And so how would you do that? You would go into your order bar, view order bar. This is in TradeStation 9.1. I will work to make a video for TradeStation 10. Um, so you'll have that as well. So you have Night Trader. In this trade, you're, you're not managed. You could put in a stop loss and a profit target, but you need to make sure that once one is filled, the other is canceled. So that's what an OCO does. Order cancels order. So you click on this button right here. Make sure you have the right symbol. ESH20, and then you click in. You click on. Um, let's see. Those are for other strategies um, that are uh, automating in sim mode. Um, so what you what you would do for Night Trader though is to say exit bracket one limit one stop level, and so the right price for ESH20 is 32.2450. It already exited, um, and then I changed the profit target to 2000. For demonstration purposes, and I'll change it back to show you that in a minute. Um, so, 32.24. We have a $2,000, um, $2,000 profit target in this case, which is 40 points higher than the entry price. So, we'd go 32.54.50, 32.54.50, and then the stop loss was 30 points lower. So, that would be. Um, 15 and a half points below 3200 which would be uh, 318450 so those are your orders uh, sell one 325450 on a limit or sell one 318450 stop market um, and that is an order cancels order so if your um, limit order is filled your stop order is automatically canceled is not sitting there in the market so you could manually manage a strategy like this. One caveat, um, you could do this almost every time in Night Trader once it has its entry, you could turn off automation and place an OCO. If you're worried about um, your internet being out and you just want to manually manage it and put the orders in the market, you could do this for any strategy that has a stop and a profit target and holds positions. Um, but one caveat for Night Trader is if it hits its profit target during the entry window, it could re-enter. It's done that a couple of times before historically, but on a regular basis, it doesn't usually do that. So you will still get your exit if you do that, but if you turn off automation, you may not get a re-entry signal if it exits in that uh, time window where it could re-enter again. So you'd place the order and you'd see it look like this. Sell so one, 32.54.50, uh, 31.84.50 on a stop. And so um, that is where your orders would be. And you could go, um, if you want to see those on the charts, you can go Format, Account Orders and Positions, and click this, click this bar right there. And now you see them. So if you see uh, trades like this in TradeStation, if you see all these lines in TradeStations and they're confusing, whenever you have multi-symbol automation, you will see bubble arrows and square arrows. The square arrows represent the trade signal. The bubble arrows represent any trade from any strategy man or manually in the same market. So it can be confusing. It looks like you're having multiple contracts traded on the same strategy. It's not. It's just these, all the signals, all the, all the trades for this symbol show up when you have that. So to turn that off, format account orders and positions, turn that off and you'll only see the trade signals. So these are some tricks in TradeStation and understanding the platform and what is really what is going on and how to manually some tricks in trades of manually synchronizing and manually managing these strategies. So I'm going to show you here. You can also see that order cancel. 
Um, you could cancel this here. So if you cancel this one, it should cancel the other one. Um, let's see if it does. So it didn't cancel this. So if you manually cancel it, you do this. Okay, so if you manually cancel it, you do that. And now uh, we have an NQ trade. So, so you manually um, cancel your OCO. You have to do make sure both orders are canceled. Um, but if one is filled, the other will automatically be canceled. Um, so I just thought of something, and I want to explain this a little bit further. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll place an OCO. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that also in the matrix. So I'm going to show you how to do this in the matrix. So if you want to do this in the matrix, you could say, um, for example, ESH20. We're long, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. Boom, sell it. And it's, in the matrix, it's called attach OSO. Um, so what's let's just say attach OSO, and you could say a limit order. Let's just say two points. You could say um, bar settings. Uh, you could say price offset, opposite of primary, and so you could say just two points. So this is gonna exit real quick while we're making the video. It's going to put a limit order and a stop order, and which one is filled, the other is canceled. So you can say um, you could you could you could set this up to change these price offsets, but this is not a good strategy to use in general. I'm just putting in a tight price offset, so it will quickly execute. So let's just go. Um, whenever you have this checked in the matrix, let's just see. Once I place this buy market order, it's going to place a limit order two points above and a stop order two points below. So watch this. So there it is. One is filled, the other is canceled. Let's do it again. Buy it at the market. It's filled. Two orders. One is a limit order, one's a stop order. And we'll see. One, let's see. When one is filled, the other one will be canceled. Boom. The stop was filled, the limit was canceled. Let's go sell at the market. We're short now, and you've got a buy limit here and a buy stop there. Once one is filled, the other one will be canceled. So which one's going to be filled first? Which one's going to be filled? Um, slow markets. Market slowed down a little bit. Looks like the buy stop's going to be filled first. So it seems like we had, I think, all of the trades were losing when you did that. So um, I wouldn't recommend trading a strategy that has such a tight profit target and stop loss. I did that for demonstration purposes, for execution only. So there's some tricks of the trade. In this video, I will show more later, and I'll show more in other platforms such as TradeStation 10. Be sure to like this video. Ask me any questions, and I'll make a video for you um, so you can have that. Um, so if you have any questions on how to use TradeStation, let me know. I'll make a video about it.